It's a little sheepy. <laughs> uh, don't want to see the credits until the end of the demo or game, whichever one. Regardless. Very zen. Let's start. Oh! We're just thrown right in here. Oh! Hello, Herman. Speedy is coming! Speedy is coming! Who is Speedy? Is he a hedgehog? Is he a ripoff? Is he blue? Who is Speedy? You can't just throw me into this thing and just not tell me who the hell this is. Who the hell is Speedy? Dear staff, hello! This is Terminal Herman 3. You received a call request. Did I? I guess I'm staff? Hello? Um, yes, call request. Okay. From Terminal Herman 1 in the agency, please select whether to connect. Uh, <laughs> there is no job. <laughs> well, at least you're honest about it, game. At least you're honest about it. At least you're honest. Connect. Received, received, connecting. Okay, Herman, the third. I see. Naruhoto. Ah, heat in the house finally fixed. Yay! Oh, yeah, your birthday was yesterday. Hope that went well. Also, yes, Sebastian, the ool. The, I guess uh, they coo. It's how they connect, Wi-Fi wise. It's so fluffy, I know! I was very attracted to this game when I saw it on Steam by the... Like, images. They, they look very cute. And, uh, yeah. It has proven me correct. <laughs> Cuckoo. Indeed. Connecting. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Pay attention to me, please. I know you're listening. If you're still ignoring me, I'll be sad. Once I'm sad, I'll wither away. Well, ain't that depressing. But it continue. I understand. Yeah, yeah. That is me. Mm. As you can see, I'm a detective. And the guy yelling through the terminal is my boss. She owns the agency. Ah, Herman the Third. Indeed. Okay. This boss's most excellent skill is doing nothing and pissing off everyone in the agency. Oh, oh. <laughs> that kind of boss. Okay, okay. As a result, there is always a tendency to accept commissions from afar. By the way, the commission I have now is to go to the foot of the snow-capped mountains and investigate a village called Edeb. Okay, okay. We are going to investigate. I understand. Hoo-hoo. Please don't be mad at me. I have to say, you have too much work to do, and I shouldn't have stolen your cookies in the shape of sheep. You stealing my animal cookies? I'm actually I am actually upset if you're stealing my animal cookies. Yes, these animal animal crackers are very serious business. You don't steal those. No. Enough for the previous section. Now it's better to deal with the boss first. The first I should patiently ask her what she wants and patiently tell her to stop yelling, scream, and make her give. <laughs> Just pay 
patiently ask her what she wants. She's our boss, after all. I don't want to anger her. <sighs> oh, you spoke. Isn't that very spirited? I was worried about you the all the time. Were you now? Were you now? Mm hmm. I think the probability of she worrying about me is equal to the probability of a cookie spatula growing wings and flying away. I mean, fair, fair. Most bosses are are like that. Mm. Fair, fair. I mean, how could you take on a commission without my permission? And you chose to go out on the day when I was l lost of mobility? That's outrageous! Boo-hoo! Lost of mobility means three days ago she said she wanted to test the flexibility of her forehead, so she stuffed herself against the glass and couldn't get out. <sighs> Birds. Understood. It seems that today, three days later, she has finally pulled herself out, which is a real congratulations. <laughs> a real celebration. I believe that meant to translate as. Anyways, come back before you walk into that village. I'm swamped with paperwork at the office. I don't want to work at all without you. Just to be cleared, even when I was there, she never worked. Ah, that kind of boss. Mm -hmm. Understanding, understanding. Besides, the Erba village is horrible. It is said that everyone who enters the village, detectives, adventurers, tour groups, or heavy-duty mixers, no one ever gets out. Well, understood. I'm going anyways. Just like I ate the cookie. Just like I ate a cookie. This weird village swallows everyone who enters. In fact, that's why I wanted to vil visit this village. Yes, indeed. I guess we're going to spirit ourselves away. But I'm not adventurous and I don't like trouble. But I have a colleague named Chris. She loves these dangerous and mysterious places. Hmm. Interesting way to spell that. Interesting. Mm hmm. Wait, you don't think Chris would be in this village, would you? Ten days ago, Chris received a private commission and left the agency. No one knew where she had gone because she was in such a hurry. Although I believed that she would crush all difficulties, return to the agency as if nothing had happened, and tell me all about her adventures. But her terminal, Herman II, hasn't returned any new messages. That worries me a lot. Hello? Hello? Listen to me! Chris is not here! Go back before you get into that stupid village! You need to get back now! You need to go back now! But I don't want to go back. My gut tells me that in Arab Village, I'll find Chris. Or at least the traces that Chris left before. If I really... If I really don't make it out... I don't really want them to send a helicopter. And let's not be mean to... To them. Like that. If I really don't make it out. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Don't you know how expensive helicopters are? I need to ride a unicycle for 80 years to make enough money to rent a helicopter. Well, I mean, get to work, clown. What is the boss riding a unicycle? With such a pointless question, I'll tell Herman the third to end the call. Cool, cool. Call ended. Staff, I can't move on. Do you need to make a final confirmation of WOW! Super Action Guide! Tell me again. WOW! Super Action Guide! Please pay attention to your mouse. If it turns into a claw at some point, click on the left mouse bravely. Thank you. Please pay attention to your inventory. Items have the amazing ability to combine. Feel free to combine items with environment, character, or other items. Nicey! Please don't ignore the magnifying glass in the lower right corner of the item. Click on it to view its details and find important clues. Thank you. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Staff, please pay attention to safety and keep your chin up. We will see each other. 
Speedy is gone! Speedy is gone! Ah, Speedy is what they call their messages. Understand. Well. Uh, not good things, I suppose. Well, into the village I go. Beautiful faucet. Sound of heavy breathing is coming from the house. Hey, fading down, hello! But yes, I don't... Th I mean, I know I saw that thing where potassium and water just make goes kaboom. So that's a thing. Oh yes, hello, Fading Dawn, how are you? A snoring sound like a siren is coming from the door. It seems that someone in the room is sleeping soundly. Are you going to knock the knock on the door? I don't want to knock, really. I don't want to disturb them in their sleep. Oh no, why are you fighting Uber CEO? No! <laughs> Let's keep... Edward Villages? But yes, uh... We've just started. I'm exploring this village where apparently no one ever gets out of. Hey, look, this sun is smiling. It's saying hello to you. I noticed that. I noticed that too. Oh. A small, wooden, a small windmill picked up by the roadside. When the wind blows, it will spin around heartlessly. It's useless. Ah, you always bring me all kinds of waste, but every day you... With you is so gut-wrenching. Why must I love you so much? Indeed, it is a little loose. But yeah, we can see all our detective tool bags and stuff. Oh no! Oh no! That really sucks! That the Uber place didn't update your address and now you can't get your food delivered. That really sucks! Why would anyone use a stove in the summer? Because they want to cook things, Mr. Detective. I don't know about you, but we still need heat to cook some foods. Anyways. Mr. Tortoise is slipping. Hello? Hello? No sign of waking up at all. Ah, uh, that sucks. That sucks. Having to run back to the job. Ugh, that really sucks. Well, I guess that's all we can do on this side. Some green top. I see. We're not going into that house. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of reasons to fight CEOs. Regardless of Uber. Or not. Is the water frozen? Mr. Dog. Oh, no. He is Jesus Dog! We have found Jesus Dog! Hello, Jesus Dog. So we can't, uh... So we can't, uh, do anything with Jesus Dog. Not the bucket. Alright. A garbage bag, no doubt. Its silent face seemed to tell people not to try to wake up a grumpy person. I'm always throwing things out to get people's attention. And then I grew up, and I started throwing myself out. Adventures of Cactus. Yes! I know! Ah, uh, sending messages. Let's open the trash bag. An open garbage bag. Why would I go through the trash? Garbage dumps are about as appealing to players as treasure chests are to adventurers. Go ahead and stuff magic items in the trash. Secrets of puzzle game design. Indeed. Let's... Ah! I 
understand. Puzzle! Boot puzzle. We got magic boots! Hooray! A pair of magic shoes found in the garbage bag. With the feathers on the shoes, they become light. Why do birds fly? Because birds have feathers that can fly. What you should know about biology. Indeed. Overly flashy feathers. Not at all like duck feathers. Well, we have boots now. Nice. Let's go talk to Jesus Dog. Indeed. We will search garbage cans and get things we need. What do you mean? I'm wearing the magic feather shoes. Now go talk to Jesus Dog. Thanks to my flying shoes, I made it to the middle of the lake. Now I'm staring at the dog. It's kind of creepy. Apparently no. No snakes. Luckily. Anyways. Hello, Jesus Dog! I see. The dog in the middle of the lake is staring at me with silent eyes. Try to break the ice. Serb. Is that your name? Why are you still awake? Aren't you awake too? I see. You can stay in Arab Village. Be thankful that you will always have everything you desire. Uh... I'm only here for the commission. <laughs> He's just standing here, Sebastian. And uh, I don't have the option to ask for about Jesus bread, sadly. Stubborn, since you are standing here, that is enough to show your desire. If that's the case, why are you still... Oh. Okay. Why are we talking bullshit? I guess. Okay. But I appreciate your courage. Since you have the courage to question it, it means you are ready to... What challenge am I accepting, Jesus Dog? Indeed, he's standing there, menacingly, as Jesus Dog does. But what challenge am I accepting, eh? Totally cannot understand. Uh, what do you mean by challenge? Give me a glass of hot water. I'll give you the answer you want. Go ahead. Don't waste your time. You won't get any explanations until you give me my hot water. Okay. Jesus Dog needs water. Thank you for glass. So he was just trying to get someone to pour him water after all this talk? Hot water? Okay. He stopped talking to me. That's disgusting. Let's go find some wa hot water. We have the time. We have plenty of time. Who knows? Water. Oh. This thing has ice. Knock, knock. Keep knocking. Mr. Duck, why are you knocking so loudly? You are so rude. Well, I didn't anyone teach you basic manners. How dare you disturb my dream? If it was the old me, I would have bowed my head in shame by now. But after years of training by my boss, I've become very cheeky. This is somehow valuable quality for a detective. But in the face of this yelling duck, I can. Say to her calmly. Sure, yeah, I'm rude enough. So what the hell are you gonna do? Interrupting my dreams and talking talk it? You're gonna lose your hair? Oh wow. How wicked. If I could wake others up, I wouldn't have to face this random cursing duck. Hey, that's weird. Why does why is everyone here asleep? Is it custom here? How can an idiot like you understand how precious my dreams are? Let me tell you, at the beginning of the dream, 
I was back to the day I was born. That day, the wind, heavy rain, lightning, and thunder all sung to the harbingers of the divine bird. And I, the most talented phoenix in the whole family, live up to expectations and was born in this world. Phoenix? Uh, you quack like a duck. Quack! Don't mention the word duck in front of me. Look at my beautiful fiery red feathers. Quack! Listen to my magnificent chirp. Feel my noble temperament. How dare you insult me with a duck? Okay. She had fallen deep into escapism. Just like me with my bank balance. I'll come back for her later. Oh, so we're not going to get hot water from there. We're just going to... It's so cute. Fine. So. Hmm. Actually. Uh, yeah, had a feeling. Sleeping well. Some sudden ice. Why is there ice coming out of the tap? I lost my most, most basic sense and conscience because the carbonated drink didn't have ice in it. So I didn't work today. My daily ro work report too. Mm. But now the question is... What do I do? Hmm. Because it was just common sense to take the ice over to the fire to try and heat that up that way. And the sun's not obviously not going to help unless I'm just going to leave it there for hours. Mm hmm. Alright, Mr. Duck. Uh, village? I thought it was weird that all the villagers were sleeping. Although, our office staff are always sleeping too. Also, yes. Bottle water. <laughs> Bottle water. Various British accents. Fun. Although, our office staff are always sleeping too. But if Chris is different, her energy is limitless. Usually, she's the one who wakes up, wakes us up by force. Anyway, let's talk about the village first. Is this weird? Why don't you sleep when you're tired? And in the dream, we have everything. Of course we want to sleep. No, that's really weird. Is your brain from the last century? Those who don't know how to adapt to this modern century will be eliminated. Don't why when something unusual happens to you. Whoops, that's weird. How did this happen? So all you have to do is say out loud. So that's it, stupid me. Is that clear? Quack, quack. I was taught a hard lesson. I thought you were here because you did a lot of work. I can't believe you don't know anything. Quack. I'm gonna give you a standing ovation for your stupidity. Our village, our village means cradle of night. Everyone can be tolerated by the village and then heal their wounds in sweet dreams. Sounds like a nursing home, but... Do dreams really have the power? If I dream for too long, I will wake up dizzy and can't tell which is dream and which is reality. At times like this, Chris will treat my head like a stuck hourglass up and down, left and right. It's very scary. So it's better not to dream for too long. Wait, wait a minute. Are you new to this village? Uh, me? Maybe it's been um, about ten minutes since I entered this village? I'm not sure. It's a pity Herman III wasn't here. She's best at keeping track of such precise data. Wait. Why didn't you fall asleep? When I entered this village, I fell asleep with a thud straight to the ground. That sounds painful. Painful, yeah. No, even in a nursing home, they don't push people down when they walk in the door. Why? Quack. I can't understand. Quack. That's so weird. Quack. I don't know. Quack. She is already deep in fear of the unknown, just like I do with my financial audit report. I'll come back to her.
Okay, Mr. Duck. Yes, yes. Down jacket? I noticed that at the beginning she is wearing a thick down jacket in hot summer, like a fireplace. Uh, don't you feel hot? Quack. My heart is always hot! Alright, what a pointless question. Frank to uh, going to ask why I'm wearing blue. <sighs> why are you wearing blue? That's because fiery red feathers are supposed to go with a blue jacket! Quack quack! Don't you get it? Uh, why do you like the phoenix so much? Ah! Welcome back! Hope the people you had to deal with were nice people and not terrible people. We're uh, figuring out how to get hot water and we're trying to figure out. And you know, I'm just going to talk to this duck to pass the time. Quack. That's because the fiery red fe feathers are beautiful in our village. If the feathers are light in color, you are ridiculed and ostracized. Vaguely understand what's going on. Oh, come back. Okay. Have a branch. A short branch. If it were longer, it would be more comfortable. You're my best friend, so I'm going to tell you a secret. Mature witches have wands, but I still have a little kid, so I only have twigs. The sad witch devours the forest. Oh, wait. Oh. There are many forks to hang on to. We're gonna waste more time. Let's talk about dreams. I wanna hear what kind of beautiful dream she had. Because my gut tells me there's something related to Christmas in there. Not because she had a funny look on her face when she talked about her dreams. Uh, I wanna know more about it. What's going on? You guy, you have such a good taste. It makes my heart skip a beat. Then I'll tell you one more time. At the beginning of the dream, I'm back to the day I was born. Then she spent half an hour describing all the details of her birth, including what the what what the weather was like, what the temperature was, what the doctor said, and how many times did she roll herself. And she spent half an hour describing all the heroic feats of her first year. These include when she learned to fly before her hair grown out, and she attempted to duel a two-year-old phoenix before she can keep on her feet. Indeed, I tried to burn the water, but uh. Did not work. Several hours pass. And she's still not done talking. That's a long dream. Quack. I came here seven days ago. Seven! Twenty-four hours! That's not a lot for my dream. Uh, have you been dreaming for seven whole days? How to? I want to die too. But I don't know why. There are all kinds of accidents all every time. Like I stood on a high platform, but was blown down by the wind, touched by the fire, but it was raining, intended to eat or drink, but I still couldn't help but eat. Uh, why? What are you talking about? Of course phoenixes need to repeat the life and death cycle. That's how we get stronger. All phoenixes do this. How can I be the only exception? Uh, but... I dare not persuade her to stop seeking death. 
for there was something in her eyes that said if I burst her dream, she would die immediately. She is deeply involved in complicated emotions, just like me, who cannot receive Chris's messages. Fine, I'll come back to her later. to do. stuff Yes. Basically, yes. Now it's time to figure out what to do and click on everything. something I can do. Has to be. Just 
didn't want to go to the stove and molt it. <laughs> Poke. Cannot reach. All right. Think. There must be something I'm missing. Nope. Hmm. Thinking, thinking. How do I do this? to do, what to do. Whoops. Well, I destroyed the windmill. That is on me. Oops, nope, not sorry. About destroying that. A ring of the windmill without...
about its blades is round and bare. Maybe I can combine something round with it and make the poor thing young again. Even knowing the end of the story is even knowing the end of the story is separation, I can't help falling in love with another summer. With another summer, always young, always loved, and always chasing stars. Well, we now have a magical ring. to use this on everything. Ooh! Oh, praise the sun! The sun has given us a heater! Yoink! Some sudden ice. It's no longer gonna be ice! Solar heaters, please help me melt this ice. Uh, it... It didn't melt? Mr. Turtle! Nope. Okay. Indeed, no! Praise the sun! <gasps> we turned the duck into a phoenix! I didn't mean to do that, but we did it! We have given birth to a phoenix! All hail the sun heater! After a burning... Quiet, after burning, quietly standing in place is a fiery red phoenix? Am I, re am I reborn? Is this, is this a dream? I think nobody can continue to dream as if nothing happened after being burned by fire. Not just fire, sun fire, okay? That is a different type of fire here we're talking about. You helped me. <laughs> Without you, I might have never been recognized as a phoenix. Quack. Did I hear a duck's quack? Quack? How is that possible? I was born again. And I have the fiery red feathers that only appear in my dreams. How can I still be a duck? Quack. Uh. Doesn't really matter where you are, does it? Don't be ridiculous. I don't know. I need, I need to think for myself. Did you say yellow feathers also look? All for you. I don't need it anyway. Got a large amount of yellow feathers. She seemed to be intense and good. I'll come back to her later. What can these feathers be used for? Combine them. Hold on. <clears throat> a soft feather I picked up from a lot. I picked up a lot. I think I could use it somewhere. Hair loss is the biggest problem facing young people today. After years of research to solve this serious problem, I have come out with an exciting result. We recommend that you weave your feathers into a fluffy blanket so that they don't go to waste. The rigorous academic report. Anyways. We now have a feather duster! But we still do not have hot water yet. Anyways, a duster made of soft feathers. It adds a lot of length to the branches and looks stylish. Made by my crafty self. There are three things in this world that cannot be hidden. A sneeze caused by pollen, a sneeze caused by dust, and a sneeze caused by repetitive work. I can do housework, but you pay first. Nice. Mr. Turtle! Bless you, Mr. Turtle. Ho ho ho! Am I awake? And there was a big sneeze. That was embarrassing. <laughs> but why am I sneezing all of a sudden? Oh, it must be so cold. I've decided to go get a stove. No. Please calm down, sir. Ho ho! Is this beautiful little mouse talking to me? I think I'm a sugar glider. Thank you very much, but yes. Yes, I am speaking to you. 
It's impossible. <laughs> That's odd. <laughs> hi, hi. <laughs> Please calm down, sir. <laughs> I've been losing my cool so quickly. Hello, the beautiful little creature like like mouse. You're a good kid to come to a useless old unloved old guy like me. Oh, don't say say that about yourself, Mr. Turtle. You you are plenty loved. Wait, wait. Actually, I'm not a mouse. I'm a sugar glider. Exactly. It's not important, but I just want to clarify that. <clears throat> well, what can I say to save myself a day? Bro, exactly! Don't call yourself useless! So embarrassing. Oh, good kid. Take it easy. <laughs> I'm glad you came to talk to me. I'd be happier if there was anything to do for you. <laughs> Turtle Hoho -ho joined the team. Just a joke. Anyways, if I need help, I think I should give the item to him. He seemed eager to keep chatting with me. Should I continue chatting with him before asking for help? Of course! Of course! We talk to everyone here! I now know that everyone who enters Arab Village will fall into a wonderful dream for unknown reasons. Except me! Why is that? Do I have no dreams? Oh, why is that? I don't know the answer, but I know something about dreams. Good kid, do you believe in magic? Uh, the believing in the goodness of people as my magic? Oh, oh, that seems a bit over the top. Would the word gift be more appropriate? For example, some people are born to soar. Some people are born to walk through water. Some people are born with the ability to change their colors. Some people are born to understand the sound of a breeze. For themselves, these abilities are as natural as breathing. But to others, these powers seem like magic. Ah! No, no. Yes, I understand. I do believe in that. Convinced, I was born with the ability to eat a three-person meal. I guess that's my gift. <laughs> yeah, I can feel you there. Eating big meals. Mm, very, very, very good. In Arab village, there is such a person. His gift is related to the dreamland. Ho, ho. Do you have a clue about the identity of this person? Maybe? Ho, ho, smart kid. Best of luck with you pursuing answers. If there is anything else I can do for you, please feel free to come to me. I'll be happy to do so. He is looking at me with his bright eyes, as if to say, Come and talk with me. Um... Uh -huh. Later and by now. About the past. My arrival seemed to make him particularly happy. Wasn't there anyone to talk to him before? Of course not. Because everyone in this place is sleeping. Euphemistically expressed my confusion. Oh yeah, I had no one to talk to before meeting you. Oh, poor Mr. Turtle. It's okay. He admitted so straightforwardly. Uh, have you always been alone, sir? Oh, I've always been alone. Maybe it's because I'm- You're not useless! You are not useless! When I was a child, I was- No, you are not a useless child! You are not a useless old man! Do not say these things to yourself! Some of my clansmen bring down rain, some give birth to seedlings, some calm a mountain flood, and some revive dead wood. These are very useful gifts. My gifts were of no use. What do you mean? Your gifts are probably plenty of use. What is your gift, sir? Ho oh, oh. ho. When I sing, a breeze will blow through. Wow. Ho oh, oh. ho. When I stop singing, the breeze will stop. To feel the breeze. Ho oh, oh. ho. Only the breeze that comes up by me can be stopped by me. The breeze that comes by itself is not affected by me. It'll definitely come in handy. Ho oh, oh. ho. Anyways, when I was young, I realized that people didn't like me, so I ran away. Oh, Mr. Turtle, we like you! Do not say that you are useless anymore. You are plenty useful. I thought this would get rid of them for good. Oh, but after I came to Arab Village, they repeat... Re no! Mr. Turtle! It's gonna be okay! I have the same dream every day. In the dream, they don't hate me anymore, but they won't talk to me. Oh no, Mr. Turtle! No, that's so sad. I know that feeling. Where people may not hate you, but they just 
and ignore you and never pay attention to you. That's so sad. No, Mr. Turtle. Mr. Turtle. No. You will be friends. Beautiful dream, fake dream, empty dream, lonely dream. Oh. Wake up. No, please do not sleep. Oh, oh, I've been losing my cool again. <laughs> so embarrassing. No, 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 it's okay. You, yes, I still want to talk to you. I don't hate you for being talkative. You're not boring. He looked at me with his bright eyes. It's like, let's talk a little lock. Let's talk a little longer. Exactly, Pertify, you're so sad. No, he is not useless. We will continue to talk to him before we ask for our help. Although I think it's unlikely, I'd better ask him about it. Has he seen Chris? That's about Chris. Ten days ago. Oh, I'm really sorry. I could sleep for ten days straight, so if she came to Edip Village, I wouldn't know. People in this village sleep a lot. Yeah, Pertify, uh, if you haven't seen... We entered this village, uh, we learned that people here just sleep. They just sleep. Like, I don't know why, no one knows why. They just sleep. And, uh, slowly, we're waking everyone up. First we woke up a duck, but, uh, they turned into a cool phoenix after, uh, praise the, praise the sun, uh, sun heater. Uh, we met Jesus Dog. He wants hot water. We still haven't gotten him hot water. Because uh, apparently we can't use the stove over here for fire. Uh, the sun will take forever to melt it. The space heater was not for the ice water to make it uh, hot water. So, yeah. Yeah, and they sleep a lot, though. Actually, 10 days is not too long. Maybe she went to a place that wasn't easy to contact. I know, of course I know, but my heart always gushes out in ex inexplicable ex anxiety, making me feel that I am more and more f and further, I'm further and further away from her. I don't like this feeling. Yes! Yes, they did, because of Praise the, Praise the Sun's sun heater that I created. Are you alright? If there's something you don't want to tell the incompetent and boring me, we can talk about it on some, we can talk about some happy topics instead. It's okay! Good idea. We'll change topics. To ice! Ho oh, oh, ho, you come for me to help. Please look at this. Ho oh, oh. ho. What a bottle of amazing ice. I see. Looks like you've met Serb and pissed him off. Uh. How could you tell he was angry? Serb is Jesus dog, by the way. Uh. But yeah. Let me tell you something. Ho oh, oh. ho. The gift of Serb is that when he wakes up, Everyone around him is asleep. And when he falls asleep, everyone around him wakes up. And he seems to be able to influence the content of dreams. Ho oh, oh, ho, that's incredible. Even I, who have lived for 5,000 years, don't know, doesn't know how he does it. No wonder. So you've lived that long? No. 5,000 years, wow, you must have... Maybe by some hint. I feel his eloquence is very good. Oh, maybe he'll whisper some mysterious words into our ear while we're asleep. I think he really is interesting. Oh, oh, oh. Let's take a look at this ice. It, it's hard to melt. If only the stove still worked. Doesn't the stove work? It has fire in it. What do you mean? Oh, oh. The stove has a bad temper. In the hot summer, it will burn. Once it gets to winter, it goes out and plays dead. Is there any other way? Ho, ho, of course. My magical house is filled with my collection of anything and everything in it. Just give me a second. Okay! Please don't run away while I'm not here. If I come out and don't see you, I'll be sad and I won't wake up. I won't run! A strange noise came from the house. It l it's like the sounds of screwdriver, chainsaw, blender... Crocodile, seahorse, prehistoric dinosaur. Let's not delve further, indeed. Because if I delve any further, I have to wonder what the hell a seahorse even sounds like. Because I know crocodiles like have this low gurgle, but like, wow, that's a odd house or a dangerous house. 
danger house. See? I didn't run away, Mr. Turtle! <laughs> hot water is here, steaming hot and very healthy. What a joy, the feeling of being, need being needed by you. Are you going to find Serb yet? If you're not in a hurry, can we talk a little longer? We like you, Mr. Turtle! Don't worry, we'll come back! He looked at me with his bright eyes as if to say, Stay with me, I'm so lonely. Talk with him if I'm not in a hurry. I've already did. I'll see you later, Mr. Turtle! Trust me, I'm pretty sure I will. See, this is the duck that... Well, it was a duck, and now it's a phoenix. It's great. Anyways, let's continue. Hey, you! Jesus, dog! By the way, this is a lake. Yeah, that... The blue thing is a lake. So, yes. Serb is Jesus, dog. Silent Serb keeps his body unmoved. Here's your hot water! Indeed, we will return to, to Mr. Turtle. But yes, uh... Yeah. We have water here. Don't worry, uh... Early, very, very early on, we found flying boots. So, um... Yeah, we're just... Floating over water because of boots. But he just... Is... Serb is just Jesus, dog. This hot water is just passable. You didn't drink it! Tell me how you got it. I'm sure the trials and tribulations you've experienced have helped your naive heart grow. Fiery red duck? I get it. You woke her up and put her in the pain be put her in the pain because she wants something. But you can't give it to her. Then stole her feathers with fancy words. No. No, I didn't, Jesus dog. Go on. What else have you been experiencing? I see you woke him up and made him think he didn't have to be alone anymore. Then after he helped you, you just walked away as if nothing happened. We promise we'll meet again! Go on. What else have you been experiencing? You just misinterpreted anyway! One last question. I want you to stay in air forever. Do you agree or disagree? No, I haven't found Chris yet. Stubborn, childish. I won't tell you the way out. As for the two you woke up, I will. Sir, please don't put me to sleep again. Sleeping in Air Village, oblivious to the outside world. If you indulge in a dream, all your wishes will come true. No pain, no sadness. This is the best home to return to. Uh. It's not the best home to return to, sir. Look, I know dreams are very, very beautiful in that kind of manner, but, like, there's also bad dreams, and, like, also, like, if you don't experience reality for a little bit, even if it's painful, you won't get to learn more about the world, at least not truly. I see. Do you think that what you are doing is helping him to get better, normalize, or get out? I mean... It's more like helping them cope a little bit, you know? And what I was doing was allowing them to escape and pursue fake happiness. Yeah, yeah, basically. I mean, again, dreams are nice. But, like, it's not real. It's not true happiness to just stay in those, you know? What is your position? The position of a normal or normal a normal person or the position of a sober person. I guess one who wants to help. One who knows what what it was like to want to forever be in a dream. Poor you. You think you're the only one awake, so you give them a little bit of kindness. Absolutely not. Haven't you noticed yet? Well you probably figured. You are just in den denying it. Enough. Serb drinks his water and closes his eyes. Wake up. Welcome to the real world. Well. Cold and hard.
Yeah, this is, I guess, reality. Hi, excuse me? What year is this? Uh, 2022. Really? It's been a long time. What did you say? No. Well, it's my fault. I shouldn't have disturbed your sleep. But I can't wait, because I haven't gone out with you for so long. Moreover, I heard that the village we are going to, to, going to investigate has a legend about a demon. Don't you think that's interesting? I can't wait to go and make a scene. Oh, dear. Why are you sleeping again? Wake up! Wake up! I want to tell you a little bit more about it. Looks scarier. It's already winter. Yeah, this is reality, I guess. I'm a little curious. Just a little. What have you been doing all these years? Really? You're still the exactly, exactly the same as before. Time forgot me. I can't fly, so I always wondered what it would be like to fly. But I've heard Herman say that when she's in the air, she's al she always has the illusion that she's falling. So she always flies fast. And then, exhausted, lands on my head. Would that happen to you? No wonder you don't fly much. Is it because you think it's too embarrassing to smash down? It's okay, because I'm strong. Even if you smash in into me, there won't be any problems. So fly all you want. I'll be waiting for you at the finish line. Hey, why are you still sleeping? Strange. So that's why. So that is why. Hey, are you going to wake up? Yeah. Well, that's right. This dream has been going on for too long. I have, I have envisioned this day since you created me in your imagination ten years ago. Good luck finding the answers you're looking for. See you later. Why pick it up? Maybe because it reeks of nostalgia? Sleeping nestlings bowing their heads, warm water sloshing gently. The soft songs drifting across the flowers. It is a perfectly normal afternoon. Someone's memory. Why fold the leaf? Maybe because it gives me the peace of mind I hadn't haven't had in a long time. What's in the sky? There is a sky lantern carrying wishes. There is a kite with expectations. There is a paper plane writing troubles. There is me carrying trust. Someone's memory. Leaf plane. I don't need it anymore. Let it go into the sky. The lighter the burden, the higher it will fly. If your paper airplane can't take off, it means the troubles you've written on it are too heavy. Please don't do that. A guide to flying a plane that monkeys can also learn easily. Well, that got dark. Oh, it's one of these puzzles. Okay. Everything around it grows. So, like that. I don't need it anymore. Let's just put it back. 
Press would play her ukulele on sunny afternoons. When the music plays, the flowers will bloom, and so will I. Long after I played the same music with the same ukulele, the flowers withered. Someone's memory. Let's put it back. Seven. diary with a shuddering famili familiarity. It looks like it requires a password based on iconic hints. This is the final puzzle. I sincerely hope that you can get the desired ending while playing here. Game development log. Uh, okay, so... Seven one. <sighs> familiar handwriting. Before I see it's here, I hear a familiar voice. Speedy is coming! Speedy is coming! Staff, you have an emergency call. You are now automatically connected. Oh, hi, Herman the Third. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Many, many, listen to me. Don't say anything. Don't think about anything. Look up. Look up. Quack. Who's Medi? Quack. Who's Medi? <laughs> it must be the beautiful little mouse. Quack. I thought her name was Mouse. By the way, what's your name? Medi, I'm right up here. Right up there. Can you? I see you. Can you see me? Wow, they actually got the helicopter. Medi, my dear great detective! Boss is coming to pick you up in a helicopter! What? 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 Glossy ch chestnut head! Red Phoenix is in he is here in a helicopter to pick you up! Ho <laughs> ho! Beautiful and lovely little mouse. Happy old man is coming to pick you up in the helicopter. Ho <laughs> ho! It's been a long time since I spoke out loud. I'm so shy. Good kid, I just realized. I met Chris ten years ago. <laughs> Let me tell you the details of that year when you get into the helicopter. All right. All right. I thought Chris was a hallucination of her. By the way, why are you just realizing it? <laughs> because I'm an old man. It's normal to have a poor memory when you live too long. That's also what will happen to you in the future. <laughs> All right. That's impossible. Every time I reborn, my age goes back to zero. So I'll always be a kid. You guys are so noisy. Help me see if there's a place to land. Uh, not here, not there. Why are these obstructive trees everywhere? If this helicopter is scratched, our office will pay for it until we're out of business. Oh, <laughs> if there's no place to land, how about having the little mouse fly right up? It seems, it seems to see that something like wings exist on her arms. What? I thought it was a new trend. I couldn't understand. Just like bat sleeves? By the way, how did you get on the plane? I flew up here too, but I did it with a bamboo dragonfly in my magic house. What? What's that? She can't fly since 10 years ago. She can't fly anymore. Oh, I see. So that beautiful bird down there, can you take her up with you? Oh, don't bully Herman the Third. I'm just a weak little bird. Wait, don't bully birds, you cold-blooded creature that feeds on black forest moths. Our feathers at best can only allow one individual to take off. Wait, 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 wait. Chestnut head! I suddenly remembered I gave you a lot of flying feathers before. With a little wind, the feathers can carry you off, carry you high. Wait, wait. <laughs> I get it. Well, let me give you a hand. Blowing. The wind is blowing. What? I can't believe how per powerful you are. It makes my heart skip a beat. Maddie, take the wind and fly. Come on, Chester.
chestnut head? Fly, big, de big, big detective! Come on, staff! I'm a sugar glider. Use these wings. Hey, don't you have something to say to your brilliant boss? Lem then let me say it. Welcome back, my great detective. Welcome back! What? what? Are my feathers working well? Welcome back. <laughs> Although we haven't been apart for long, I'm happy to see you again. I... The three guys in front of me smiled and looked at me. She's been gone for ten years. What? So sad, so sad. <laughs> angry, so angry. What? I thought you didn't have this angry expression configuration. By the way, this angry face. By the way, why do I feel that after rebirth my expression is suddenly... I don't have much expressions anymore. You know, my great detective, I did a lot of soul searching on the way here. I shouldn't have given you so much work, but I thought it would take your mind off of Chris. I shouldn't have interfered with your freedom in the name of care. I shouldn't have stuffed myself into a glass. I shouldn't have stolen your cookies in shape of sheep. I have fault too. And uh, do you think this helicopter is cool? Does it work? Do you like it? It works very well, and I like it. That's what I thought. So in order to rent a super cool helicopter, I mortgaged our agency. Are you kidding? <laughs> Can I jump from here now? Don't be angry. If you are angry with me, I'll be sad. Once I'm sad, I'll wither away. And I do occasionally dream of leaving all my work behind and taking a plane trip. I bet you've always wanted to do this. Hey, hey, didn't the long-lived old turtle say he had a clue on Chris? This is the first clue in 10 years. Why Chris left, where she went, why all these traces of her disappeared overnight, why she had Herman II with her and never contacted us? I trust you to find the answer. Do what you think is right and I will be there for you. Me too. Herman doesn't leave her staff behind. What? What? Me too, me too. What are you guys talking about? It's your fault. I'll talk about feathers. I seem to have missed a lot of key lines. <laughs> don't be so grumpy. <laughs> and please don't knock on my shell. As a token of reparation, let me sing you a song. And that, wow. That was kind of a short game. But yeah. Just please. It is a good game. It's on Steam, it's free. I mean, while the translation's a bit wonky, I think it's okay. I mean, it tells a very deep story. story on how you shouldn't just get lost in your dreams. And yes, on how important this healing process is after grief. I mean, even if you know someone is alive after for so long, 10 years is a long time to like go without.
like losing someone you do go through a lot of grief. You may want to stay forever in a dream where they are still there. But you do have to wake up from that dream. Experience reality. Even if it's hard. Because even though you may not realize should I be driving, by the way, Mr. Turtle? You said you saw Chris ten years ago? Where did you see her? I met her in Arab Village after our brief greeting. She went to the back of the mountain. Why didn't you say that earlier? Great detective! Go, go, go! Get that book out of your head called A Guide to Flying a Plane that Monkeys Can Also Learn Easily. Let me find out how to let this helicopter turn around! Can I jump from here? <laughs> yeah, that was Breeze. Again, in and of itself, even if this is a demo and there will be more to come, this is already a great game about how, you know, you shouldn't let your dreams just take over, even during grief. Because... Again, you may not know it, but the things you do around people and so long as you do your best to put in goodwill, there will be people who care about you. That was a nice game. They did as advertised. Healing. <laughs> but... Hmm. Now comes the question, what should I do now? I mean, an hour stream is nice. But, maybe... I can? Hmm. What to do, what to do? I know. Let's go to... Zatsu! Let's just chat, you know? I mean, again, that great game, even if there's more to come, has a really good message. And hey, if there's a sequel to this game, I'll see if, see if about playing it. Because this game as is was very, very good. Very relaxing. Very happy. Do not regret getting it again. Even if the language translation is a little wonky. I'm still happy I found it. <laughs> so the question is. Woohoo. What to do now? <laughs> Because, just because, I'm sure there's more games we can probably play, or plenty of things to talk about, you know, like uh, if you've probably lost someone before, and like how you dealt with that. Oh, I do love point-and-click games, and I love puzzle games like that one. <laughs> Especially because, uh, again, even though the translation's wonky, Pertify, um, the story itself is really good. Again, like, you lost... You, this person lost someone, and they want to find them, but they were... But the fact that this partner was lost for 10 years and they've been stuck in what's essentially a dream and like have been slowly coping with that and helping others cope with it too. Like usually um, it's all just a dream stories. There's kind of a 
iffy for me, you know, because, like, it's all just a dream. It's kind of a cop-out for, like, a lot of things in storytelling. Sorry to say, but it's kind of true. But I do love these kind of games where, even though, like, again, this trope of it's all a dream, they implemented it in a way that, you know, it makes sense. It also isn't super cheesy and doesn't take away from all that's happened in the game or in the story, which is my biggest issue with um, games that are all just a dream all along type of things. Because... Like, I want my thing, my gameplay, my time with this story to mean something instead of, it was all a dream, it doesn't matter. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly! They were very, very unique. Like a bird who just, who... Is trying to find herself, you know? You can interpret that phoenix to be very, very many things. Because she did start out as a duck, and then turned out to be a phoenix. But, you know, a phoenix that quacks, so it's still her. But, like, her in a happier state. In a happier form, in a happier body. Again, there's many ways to interpret that, and I love that. And Mr. Turtle, who, well, he thinks his powers aren't very good, but he was still helpful. He was still a joy to talk to, and he probably has many stories. He, he could have had many stories behind him. And of course, uh, I guess you can call Sarah the antagonist of, of sorts. Like, even he, like, has, has a viewpoint that you can kind of understand, like, yeah, in a dream, you can't really get hurt. In, in a dream, well, so long as they're good dreams. No one's out to really get you. That no one's out to hurt you or, you know, again, in good dreams, only good things can happen. Which is why he wants to put everyone to sleep. But again, is that really the type of way you want to live? Just always asleep in a dream? And, like, again, I liked how, even though it was all a dream, all our actions still have meaning. We still affected people's. Yes! Lots of hidden meanings, lots of good themes. Very good story, even though, again, translation's a little wonky, but that's okay. English is not the main language of everyone, and also... English is very difficult to learn if you're not, like, born and raised in that kind of, in an English-speaking household. And even then, like, with uh, how many different dialects there are of English, too, and how those get adopted into modern speech, too. So, again, it's not that difficult to see how people who aren't natively English or someone who doesn't speak English for whole living can absolutely confuse, confuse words or not have the best English at all. But again, so long as the story is really good in the end. That's what I mostly care about in a game. 
Like, sure, I'll have my complaints. Again, English was a little wonky, and I had to re reword things. But overall, the story is good. Yeah, English is weird. It has a lot of slang terms, and like, again, with different dialects now coming together, and like, mixing and matching with a African American vernacular English also coming into our most people's daily lives because of the internet or like because well people black people are being more respected as they should should have been but you know but no like again so many ways to speak English are coming together and like being adopted into our modern modern language so yeah